Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a tulip made out of paper. Okay, this is the one I made earlier. Okay, first of all, you need a paper. I've got A4 size paper in front of me, but I need a square one. So what I need to do is get hold of one corner, turn, uh, fold it edge to edge, To make a triangle yeah and press it hard now I don't really need this part so I'm going to just cut it off so I'm gonna fold it like that and just cut it off with the help of scissors So there's the square, okay? Now I've got one line like that. So I need to make another line. I'm gonna join the, these two corners together. These two corners together, the opposite ones. There you go. Folding it, one corner to the other. Now I need to press it here firmly. You can see the lines across. Now, if you hold your papers this way, squash it a little bit like that. Keep following your fingers into that middle, middle bit of the paper there. Now, hold with your fingers, get these two flaps, these two sides together, and these two sides together this way. Put it down and press it really firmly. Okay, and you turn the paper over. Do the same. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to get hold of this side and this corner joining this corner halfway by folding it into half and really press it really hard. Okay. Now I'm going to get hold of this corner now, do the same, fold it, joining, the, joining into those, the corner there. Okay, now we've got this shape, like a square shape. Now let's turn the paper over, I will do the same. Start with this corner, fold it half, join in the corner there, press it really firmly, firm, hard. And do the same with this side, corner to corner. There you go. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. So they're open up here, open on this side as well. So what I need to do at this point, this, I don't want the open bit showing, so I'm going to fold this that way towards the left. Now it's all smooth. The lines disappear there. Now turn it over. You can see the open bit there. So I need to make it smooth. So I'm going to get hold of this side halfway and turn it. Make it smooth. Now it's all smooth now. Both sides are smooth. This is what this looks like. Now at this point, what we need to do. Right. Okay. As you can see, this side and this side, these two sides, they're smooth. They're not open, but this side's open. So op both sides. So this bit needs to be towards you, facing towards you. Okay. Once you've got that, get hold of this corner. And what this at this point now you're going to... Can you see the line here? It needs to be folded into the line, up to the line. Okay, there you go. Folding it. Right, got to do it really scory properly. Okay, same, this side, fold it halfway to the line. Okay, there you go. It doesn't really matter if one overlaps the other. So this looks slightly higher than the other one, but that is fine, it's not a problem, as you can see here. Right, it does look like a kite shape now. I'm gonna turn it. Paper over, do the same the other side. So you see the line here? 
Now I'm gonna get hold of this corner and fold it halfway there. Need to score it a little bit and do the same with the other side. Okay, there you go. These two more or less the same same height, so that's fine as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like, like a proper kite shape. Right. Now, what I need to do is, I need to do this. This is slightly shorter than the other one. So the shorter one will be inserted into the you know, slightly longer one. I need to do it really, really carefully so it doesn't snap. Once it's secure, just press it. Press it down. That's it, really. That's it. Right. Once I've done that, I'm going to do the other side as well. But these two sides are the same, so it doesn't really matter which one goes where. Okay, so there you go. I'm going to do the same. Once that's in, secure it, and then push it down. Right, okay. So they're both in now. With, uh, with both of my index finger and thumbs on both sides, I'm going to hold them tight like that to secure them. Now, you can see the hole here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a big blow to the hole. Right, I think one, one blow was enough. See, it's looking like a flower now. So, what I'm going to do, once, once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna open the petals, all four of them. This turn it to look like a tulip, more or less. Smooth this one out a little bit. Okay, yeah. okay I'm gonna leave it to one side. Now, why need? If you can remember, I cut, I saved this piece of paper. But instead of this color, I'm going to use a green one, which I already cut early on. That's more or less same size into a no blonde shape. I'm going to hold it this way. Right. I'm going to fold into half edge to edge. Yeah. That's one fold. When you press this quarter properly, once you're happy, you do it again. Another fold edge to edge fold into half go press it really hard right i think i'm gonna have to do it one more time again there you go fold it into half again and made it made a stem for the tulip okay right looking at the shape in the hole the hole of the stem obviously this stem is a little bit thicker at this point what i'm going to do i'm going to get hold of scissors cut it like that give it a pointy part of it so the pointy bit is going to be inserted into the right sometimes the hole is not big enough, so I can use the scissors to make it slightly bigger. Gonna, so the stems gonna go right in. And there you go, your tulip is ready. But sometimes, is if you're not happy with the stem like that, you can just glue it a little bit. Yeah. So it holds the holds the paper together. There you go.